Hey planner friends, it's Kim Odakov in KRO Designs. I just finished the setup of my North Branch pocket notebook. It's my everyday carry. It always hangs out in my purse, but I haven't updated it since December of last year. So I thought it was time to give it a nice little fresh coat of paint. And I used a ton of different and new ideas, and I hope you guys tune in. But before I show you how I'm going to set this up with my Mommy Lay Little Bits box, this is the August one. I want to show you the what this looks like right straight out of my purse. I have done nothing to this. This looks exactly like it was. And when we get done flipping through it, you'll know you, you'll know why I need to get it uh, to spruce it up. So anyway, this is North Branch leather. It has a reinforced spine, but the awesome part about it is that it's on the inside. It has three elastics. I did add some Foxy Fix adhesive pockets to the fronts, and so I just have a few Mommy Lay samplers and some other shops right up here. Fox and Pip, and of course, Frank Hearts You. This front part, this is my wallet. This is how I pay with my credit cards or get my driver's license and that sort of thing. That will be another tutorial that I'll get done, and that will be in Mommy's channel very soon. So look for that. This is just another Foxy Fix dashboard with my family. This is from December, and that is the entirety of the last time I updated this. Nine months ago, I have not even touched this thing. Um, here's my accordion pocket. This is what I use. I keep, whoa! Actually, you know what? I probably can fix it and reinforce that with a little bit of washi tape. But anyway, I've got my change on this side. I guess I've used it enough, huh? I need to make another one. I just have a sticky note that I had here, and I have some money, some receipts, and some things I have for just storage that um, I really like to have. And then um, just a few little bits from one of my kids. Wow, that's even upside down. See, this is real life, I'm just saying. And then I have my 2018 insert, and so this is just a monthly that I keep handy and every week I go ahead and transfer anything that was added into my main master planner I add into here. So when I'm at work and they say, hey, can you do this date, this date, I can just look at my wallet real quick and be done. And again, another Foxy Fish dashboard insert. And then on the back side over here, I have a very full um, notes page and so I'm going to have to get a new one. Again, another Faxi Fish dashboard and of course extra planner stickers. So straight out of my purse. You see how depressing that, <laughs> that is? But anyway, let's go ahead and set this up. I'm going to put it to the side because I really don't need it until I reset it up again. I will tell you that I always keep in the back of my work planner, which I am pulling out as we speak. I have these standard pocket and um, setups. I also have A6, I have B6, I have all of the planners that I use. I have these uh, these um, these measurements. And now this is very handy when it comes to just putting things together. I look at this, I make the measurements, I cut them, I'm done quick. Because like right now, I have an hour and 15 minutes until I gotta pick up the kids. So let's get her done. Did pull um, some ink. I've got um, an acrylic pad and I grabbed my watercolors just in case I wanted to get a little funky with my planner. Guys, I'm going to put you on fast forward and talk you through it. Every time I do a setup, I always start with the packaging. It's just the easiest um, piece of thing to work with since it's there and I'm technically supposed to throw it out anyway, so I might as well use it. I also use the um, the postcard that always comes in the box as well. Perfectly wonderful material to work with. And then I move on to the papers. This time I'm using the vellum and I accidentally cut it the wrong way, meaning I could have actually gotten four insert um, covers if I wanted it to go a different direction, if you know what I mean. So I had to cut it a certain way. But then the acetate I cut into the bottom and the top. Packaging is the perfect spot to do a little bit of uh, janky watercoloring. I am not an artist nor a watercolorist, but I decided to just go ahead and slap some paint down with some Artist Loft Cheapo stuff from Michaels and then went ahead and plotted it. This time I'm not reinventing the wheel. I'm mimicking that vellum up on top using Stazon ink. It's a special type of ink that is waterproof. And then I whipped out my watercolors again just using the same color patterns and designs from the acetate. No need to think too hard about this one. And if I got too heavy of a color, I just used my um, ever, ever handy dandy paper towel and blotted it off. This one was perfectly dry after about five minutes, so I went ahead and put a piece of washi tape so that astronauts grounded 
couple stickers and I'm ready to rock and roll. Next one is another packaging part and I noticed it wasn't wide enough so I needed to add an extra part. So I just kind of um, added some backing paper to it to make it wider and then put the other one on top. It's still pretty level and it works just fine. Then I covered up the bottom with an extra piece that I had cut off earlier, added some stickers and voila. Now it's time to rip this apart and re-put it back together in some sort of fashion. I'm gonna start making piles and separate as we move along here. Here's my only casualty when I get ready to make the other tutorial. This is all ready to go. I'm gonna save that, put that to the side. I'm gonna need it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a few other things. All right, naked planner, don't look. <laughs> Just kidding. I have a hard time getting rid of things like this. I probably will save this. This is just the dashboard, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that one. But I will save that one because it's really cute. This one I think I'm going to toss, toss away. And But I am going to keep this little heart because, you know, me and my little babies. Now, if you're redoing some of your dashboards and you know that they're a little dirty, I just go ahead and right now, this is when I get a baby wipe. I actually don't have any babies anymore that use diapers, but I just go ahead and grab a pack as I can at Target and I just give it a good wash down. It's never going to be as perfect and clean as clear as the first time you use it. But it sure makes it feel better when you kind of freshen things up a bit in your planner. So sometimes the, um, the uh, water or whatever, the baby wipe liquid, whatever that is, gets in there. I just go ahead and put a pen in there. And while I'm doing other things, I just let it dry so then your dashboards don't get wet too. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of this guy here. I have used this K so long, I can't even tell you. It wasn't a standard plan. I told you I don't throw anything out. This is the front cover of a pull. I don't even know what month this was. Probably December or January. Isn't that funny? Literally. But I'm throwing it out now because I've gotten enough use out of it. I am going to keep this just in case. I might peel off a few things and reuse it. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. If you're desperate to get out things like that, there's a product that you can buy called Goo Gone. And you can put it on a paper towel and wipe it and it will come off. I am not quite so picky with that sort of thing. I just go ahead and use them until they die. Or, I mean, we're not Jesus perfect. I don't expect my planner to be. While I'm at it, I might as well just clean my workspace. And then clean the outside of the planner. I know this is probably a huge no-no. You're supposed to be able to, like use leather cleaner or something. I figured if it's okay for a baby's butt to use, why can't I use it on the outside of my planner? Woo, aired out. It's dirty. Dirty, dirty. Whilst everything is drying and getting ready, I need to fix this. There's still some doily action. Um... I'm going to go ahead and take this doily part off. And then I'm going to go ahead and just attach it on this side with my glue stick. Now how am I going to fix this part? I was, This is what I was thinking. How about I put like some sort of, oh I like this, wish upon a star. Put it like right there. And then only adhere it so far. That way I can tuck it under. What do you think? Looks good to me. Let's give it a try. I'm going to put some sticker sheets in here instead. It'll make me feel better about what's in here. You like the talking to myself thing? It's interesting, isn't it? All right. There we go. Now we have a home for my stickers. Okay, let's te test this out. Oh, that works great. Change isn't going anywhere. All right, going through this setup, I know that my pocket setup says in this north branch, I need three, it has three strands. I put my accordion and wrap it around my wallet. Uh, notes monthly, so I'm going to make sure I've got all my parts. 
I did grab an extra a Planner Society thing I had hanging around. What is this doing here? That goes in the garbage. That's an old one. All right, let's test this out. I'm going to nestle like we usually do, middle of middle of both, and then slide this under that first one. Then I need my 2018 calendar, my notes calendar. Excuse me. Take this pen out. Everything is thoroughly dried. What should my front be? I really like this magic. I need freshening up. Let's put a couple stickers on it to freshen that up. It looks better. But then again, I've got these which are double sided and I neglected to zhuzh these two. So we're going to do that as we speak. As you see, I got some extra little bits from one of my kit parts from the packaging. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to this moon paper. And I'm going to pick the bottom third and I'm going to move it all the way over as possible. So if I divide this into three parts, one, two, three, it's sort of like on the bottom third. Then I also look to see if there's any of those little guys' faces I want to keep open. Then I'm going to cut off the excess. And then as you can see, I've got this little bits part over here. Well, I was thinking if I just stick this I love you to the moon and back, no one will ever know that it's there. And if you if little, little bits bothers you, what we can do is we can certainly cover that up. And instead of having blunt ends on the end, what you could do is you can bird tail the top and the bottom. <laughs> Isn't that interesting that it's the download link? But I don't need that anymore. So make sure before you use your packaging, you've got your digital downloads done. I'm going to go ahead and put that there and then glue this straight on top. So just like that, you've zhuzhed the back of this insert and you've used two pieces of packaging and one die cut. Not too bad. Now let's work on this one. And maybe I should do some sort of tags or decorations for the inside. You, I did make a tag. This is that last piece of packaging. This is just ripped off of one of the extra packaging parts. This was down here. I just ripped the end. And then another piece of acetate that was a scrap off of this other acetate. So I put the three of those together and I use this tool that makes this eyelet. And you can find this in your um, Hobby Lobby is where I found it. It was about $10 with a coupon, I believe. And all it is is a eyelet maker. It's made for clothing, but obviously it works very well. For paper and I've got one sticker on here and this dream and believe what I'm going to go ahead and do is put this one sticker down here and then I'm going to go ahead and use my stapler that I have right here and I'm just going to go ahead and double staple this dream and believe on there and then go ahead and glue it and I can glue it down to just one or two. I like how flappy it is. I don't like and everything is plastered flat. I like them to have some sort of texture. And then I know a lot of you have been talking about what am I going to do with this bag. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tassel out of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove. So I've got those two pieces there. I'm just going to go ahead and snip away down the sides of this bag with a regular pair of scissors. This one, what I'm going to do is just slip my scissors straight down this edge here. I know a lot of you are worrying about it fraying, but if you just take the top off your bag just like this, it acts kind of like ribbon, and if it does fray on one side, I'm okay with that. That's just not um, something I need to worry about. If you want it even, you can obviously trim on this other side. Let's see what it looks like, and then we'll work from there. Well, that looks like a cute little tag that I can have in my pocket. Isn't that fun? All right, let's go ahead and make a bow using the rest of this bag. I'm going to go ahead and use this ribbon right here. I'm just going to use one end of it and tie it real quick. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this extra longer piece and I'm just going to wrap voraciously. So I've tied that up and I'm thinking I want to add some sort of decorative touch. I'm going to use a pair of decorative pinking scissors, pinking shears, and give it a little bit of jagged flare here. have these sort of things lying around. This is just a Ken Cow bow clip. I love her stuff. I wish they would make halo foil <laughs> clips, but there we go. Now I've just slipped that in there. Looks like I need to do a smidge more trimming, and then I'm going to add it to my planner. All right, the last thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to add some sticky notes. Now, I really want to just put sticky notes in this pocket and use this as it is. This came with in July's Little Bits box, but as you can see, it butts up against the back of the sticky note part, and if I put it in there, it looks fine. But I've got an alternative that we can do, is I've got this little extra bit of packaging all I've got to do is a little bit of trimming, add some washi tape, and I can have like a little mini flip. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and add another sticker there. And here we are. I've got my own little sticky note pad already here. Let's do a quick walk through. Again, I can add other elements to here, but here's this one little quick tag we put together. Stay tuned for a tutorial on how to do this sometime soon next week. Again, this works out very well. It blew dried, all ready to go. My money and some sticker sheets. I've got my dashboards. All right, guys, it took me exactly an hour and 15 minutes. Time to go pick up the kids. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you tune in next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see more inspiration of how to use your little bits boxes and or all of the fun stuff you guys buy. Take care, guys. Bye.